Welcome back to another episode of Link's Digital Online Series. I'm Nikki, and today we'll be looking at a last filter that we'll be using for this project, which is the Laplacian filter. So why we're using this filter is because it was able to detect large changes in terms of um, background color and, and we'll isolate this area and be used for detection of say traffic lights or rear lights of cars at night. We'll be looking at a concept that we'll be applying today which is Laplacian of Gaussian. So what we'll do first is to blur the image and then after that apply the Laplacian filter. Right, so actually it's pretty simple for now. So what this will do is that it will print the, the frame uh, so we will go ahead and give it to the time show. And I will compare it with the original. So let's go ahead and run the code. So this is the grey frame that we had and this is the Laplacian frame. So you can see like some parts appear very dark and that is the part that corresponds with the light like in the background. So just nice we have this light over here. So if I move away from it, see that the light as well as the lighted areas are in darker colours. So it's black over here, the black patches. So that would be good to isolate or to find where the areas which have uh, lights on it. So let's close this and we could use the original frame. Let's take a look at it. And the program again and you can see so these are the areas with the lights on it. The light source itself as well as the areas is in that is illuminated by it. Right, so let's go and take a look at how it will look like on the road. Alright, so for this, we'll be shrinking down the frame so that it's easier to uh, look at it. So let's go back to our old module that we did. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how the code looks like when it's run and let's go. So you see the original frame and the Laplace frame. So things like this lights over here is really bright and it appears as a dark spot. That's why we can maybe isolate a dark area. So if the, there's a really dark patch, it could be isolated using the draw functions later on and to find the coordinates at which this occurs. So this will help us to detect traffic lights or certain objects. So even for road, we can if we use our image processing later to kind of isolate an area and then image it, project it into a frame. It could help us to identify road signs. So for example, lane lines also appear very clearly on this. So yeah, that's something that we can work on in later tutorials. All right, so let's just take a look at how it will look like if we increase the blur frame. Right, so you can see from this, there's a little difference where the lane lines are clearer. It's more defined because uh, of the increase in blur. So when it reaches the word slow. Wow, it's coming up soon. Yep. So when it reaches the word slow, it's probably easier to recognize. And later on when we do our machine learning as well as we come up with our cascading, it will be great. Alright, so that's the end for today's tutorial. So we looked at many different filters along like Gaussian filters, um, Indian blurs, now the Laplacian blur. So later on, we'll be moving towards looking at different colors, image processing, HNG formats and all. So that's the end for this tutorial. If you are looking for the code, you can find it in the description below. And see you next time.